cheap, affordable and extremely fast. Isn't that what we are all looking for? And on top of that we expect great reliability and a long lifespan. Well, I think this Kingston A1000 NVMe PCIe SSD might meet the criteria. At a price of roughly 160 to 170 US dollars currently for the 960 gigabyte version, this SSD could be a very nice mid-range solution. Although mid-range sounds kinda mean, it may be true, but we are after all still talking of an NVMe SSD that is almost three times as fast as a conventional SATA SSD. Let that sink in for a while. For those that find the 480 gigabyte version of this to be sufficient capacity wise, you can actually save some money. The pricing is at around $85 right now. By the way, I'd like to let you know that Kingston kindly provided me with this nice little drive for this video. So we are more or less talking of a sponsored video. However, that doesn't influence or affect any of my opinions or ratings. And many of you guys know that. What exactly does the A1000 SSD offer and what speeds are we looking at? Or should you rather stick to your ordinary SATA SSD? Right away, very kind of Kingston is to include an activation code for the Acronis True Image HD software. With that one, you can easily clone your data and Windows installation of your old hard drive or SSD to this new one. The five year warranty sure will have a bit of a reassuring effect on those SSD skeptics. By the way, this is a drive with a B plus M key, providing great M.2 compatibility. The A1000 by Kingston is using two PCIe 3.0 lanes, so there definitely are faster NVMe drives out there that use four lanes. Such drives do come with transfer rates up in the 3000 megabytes per second mark. But the 1500 and 1000 megabytes per second for read and write respectively on this 960 gigabyte version aren't too shabby either when comparing against the already fast 550 megabytes per second on a standard SATA SSD. We have a choice between three different capacities here of which the 960 gigabyte one seems to make the most sense for today's standard. At a pricing of roughly $160, we cannot necessarily expect this drive to use MLC NAND memory, but 3D TLC is a pretty respectable choice nowadays anyway, to be honest. Apparently we are looking at NAND memory by Toshiba, and as for the controller, it's the 4-channel Fizen E8. But alright, what you guys most likely want to see are the benchmark results and how exactly the results stack up against SATA SSDs in real life, day-to-day -day work. More importantly, if there are any real differences noticeable. Well, one thing's for sure, the A1000, even with only using two lanes, is much, much faster than any SATA 6 gigabit per second SSD could possibly ever be. And to be fair, it needs to be said, everything above 500 megabytes per second we consider and even perceive as super fast on our PCs, with Windows that is. Really fast boot up times, program and game startups are pretty much guaranteed. But let's be real, do we really notice any differences between such an NVMe? E drive and a conventional standard SATA SSD when doing normal stuff. Some say so, others on the other hand say no. And to be honest, I think this is very subjective. I for one do notice a little difference in speed when using the NVMe drive. Everything just seems to feel a bit snappier compared to a SATA SSD, even booting up Windows. Well, I certainly am impressed. We are looking at great speeds at a reasonable and affordable price when it comes to NVMe PCIe SSDs. Having said that, with some 
such M.2 drives, there are no cables required, which helps save space in small form factor PCs. That's a big plus. So at the end of the day, I can say the pricing seems to be more than reasonable, the transfer speeds are great and the quality seems to be on a high level too. The performance sure is not the best you can get out of an NVMe SSD. There sure are faster ones out there, but it's the overall package that seems to be pretty damn good here. It therefore shouldn't really come as a surprise, this drive gets a good rating by me. At first I thought about giving the Kingston A1000 NVMe SSD gold, but then I came to the conclusion my super rare platinum award actually is very well deserved here. What are your opinions on NVMe SSDs? And as always, thanks so much for watching.